I come straight from the corner selling drugs and all that. But I did not want to be part of that life. You understand what I'm saying, big brother? I did not want to be part of that life. So what I did was, at 23 years old, I went back to school. They had this program, educational program in Harlem, where they sent you to school. You know where they sent me? To Newark. 1019 Broad Street, Newark, New Jersey. They had a high school there, prep school called Newark Prep. So I went to that school, right? And I'm studying, right? And I had, you got his books out there too, Dr. Henry Clark, mm -hmm. Dr. Ben Jockerman, mm -hmm. all those used to be tutors for us, right? So they used to come to the Urban League Educational Program and tutor us, right? Mm. So what changed my life was, one day, at the, because I wrote for a student, radical student newspaper called 40 Acres and a Mule, mm. 1968. You're going to read about this in my book, right? So one of the students on the editorial board asked Dr. Henry Clark, he said, if we the original people on the planet, why are we going through what we're going through today? Speak. You know, why wouldn't, some, why wouldn't we be concerned about that? You know what Dr. Henry Clark said? Dr. Henry Clark said, that's because of a transgression that we made against ourselves before Europeans came into our life. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, you hear that? Mm -hmm. Yes. Europeans ain't had nothing to do with our downfall. When you go to Africa now, you see these great civilizations mm -hmm. in all them places. Mm -hmm. Those civilizations collapsed, imploded. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then they came from Europe and took over. Mm -hmm. So when I saw that, right, I had an option to go either to Columbia University for an intern program that they was offering me or go to Africa. So in 1968, I chose to go to Africa. And I went to 10 other countries in Africa. Looking for that information that Dr. Henry Clark told me about. Because he never elaborated, right? So when I got there, when I noticed, I'm in Kenya when Jomo Kenyatta is president. I'm mm -hmm. in Ethiopia when Hilly Selassie is president. I'm in Ghana when Kwame Nkrumah is president. Mm -hmm. I'm all through there. So I'm seeing this whole revolutionary fervor take place. But you know what I learned? In Kenya, before Jomo Kenyatta died, let me tell you what he did. Kenya got the Kikuyu and the Luau, two mm -hmm. different tribes. So when he took the land and the houses back from the colonials, mm -hmm. he said, hold up. A Luau get this house, a Kikuyu get this house, a Luau get this house, mm -hmm. a Kikuyu get this house. Mm -hmm. Now what? Why did he do that? Distribute so the wealth. Learn how to live together. together. Yes. Mm -hmm. and share. What's mm -hmm. the number one problem?